my windows fogged up, but it's not. <laughs> that just tweaked me out. How is everybody? I was gonna do this horizontal, but now I can't read your comments, so I'm gonna do it this way. Um, welcome everybody. How I see we have Jojo and Hermes Zelks on the chat. Welcome everybody. Go ahead and start dropping your questions in the chat because. Today we are doing a Q&A big sis advice. I had some people submit questions beforehand. This is going to be shout outs included as well. So if I'm answering your question, you're getting a shout out. So drop in the comments what you want to ask. Um, it could be advice. It could just be like, you know, what's up? I'm curious about this. I want to do this type of video. How'd you film this video? Whatever it is, drop it in the comments. Um, but we are going to start with some of the questions that were submitted beforehand. I see we got some people jumping on. Hello, everybody. Hi, Lena. Hi, Preppy Lauren. Hi, Rama. Hi. Oh my gosh. I don't know how to pronounce your first name, but you have the same last name as me. It's, I'm going to give this a shot. Shaquanique. That's a really cool name. Welcome. We have the same last name. What's up, Trix? Hi, Hads. Hi, Gus Lover. Hi, Neve. Hi, Sarah. What's up, Summer? Brandy? How is everybody? Drop in the chat along with your questions how your weekend has been so far. I hope you're all having an amazing weekend. Um, and without further ado, let's get to the questions because we're doing a Q&A here. The first one <clears throat> came from our community post so before these I drop in the community post what questions you guys might have so that you guys can ask ahead of time um, but the first question came from cry panda that was like chry cry panda and they asked how did I meet my boyfriend and I want to start with this one because it was kind of a crazy story and I know I posted one video about a little bit about like how we met um, but basically we met technically through a dating app, but we were both on vacation in Florida and we were in totally different parts of Florida. Like he was in like South Orlando and I was in Sarasota and that is like two and a half at least hours from each other. So it's like, first of all, why did we match? Um, but glad we did. So we were really far away and then, um, we started messaging and the conversation just flowed. We just like hit it off and we decided to meet up halfway. So we both drove an hour to meet up. He lived in Boston at the time. I lived in Ohio at the time. So like not close at all. So we had to do long distance. But after the first um, date, we were both kind of like, okay, um, we probably won't see each other again. But that kind of sucks because we had fun. So then we just started kind of going and visiting each other. I visited him in Boston when I visited my friend. We went on a date. Um, Painter 2.0 said who? Jordan. His name's Jordan, my boyfriend. Um, and that was a year ago. So we've been together basically a year, technically since May, but we met last January. So... Um, yeah, that's kind of the story. We just kept visiting each other and now we both live in Florida. So that's awesome. Um, but yeah, that question was from Cry Panda, so shout out to Cry Panda for asking. The next question I'm going to pull from the chat. If you guys start dropping some cues in the chat, <laughs> Mr. Time said I forgot you had a boyfriend. Um, thank you, Bitsy. I appreciate it. I just got it done. I don't know if you saw that video, but I've been going blonde my entire since I started dyeing my hair at all. And I went darker this time, and I really like it. Slime story, it's night where you are. Oh yeah, it is day, and it is getting hot in this car, so. Okay, we have a good question that I am going to answer from the chat. So shout out to Mr. Or wait, just kidding, not Mr. Time, wrong one. Neve Hanley, shout out to Neve Hanley, said, how did you get famous on YouTube? That is a good question. I love talking about that story because I know a lot of you guys are interested in making your own videos. So to answer that question, how did I, you know, gain a following on YouTube? 
I've been making videos since I was like 10 years old. I have always been so passionate about telling stories and just, you know, making creative edits. And I first started posting in 2016 just for fun on YouTube. And then um, during quarantine, I was posting on TikTok and my TikTok blew up in like six months. We went from zero to a million, which was crazy. And so then I started reposting my content on YouTube about six months later, and I ended up liking YouTube a lot better. So I don't know if you guys are like active on TikTok too, but I post on my content there as well. But YouTube's like my main, you guys are my, you guys are my mains. <laughs> Someone in the chat is demanding me to say lettuce. How rude of them, just kidding. Um, sound, that's okay, interesting. Anyways, okay, we got a lot more questions in the chat, but I am going to jump back to some of the ones ahead of time because we got some good, like, I know that I titled this Big Sis Advice, so we got some good Big Sis questions. Um, this one's for the girls, okay? I know we probably have some guys on here, but this question's for the girls. Stick around, we'll get back, on, we'll get back to, like, general questions, but for my gals... My gal pals on this chat, Marie Love asked, um, how do you know when you're going to get your first period or does it just kind of show up randomly? And I have a few things I want to say on this because we actually got two questions that were really similar to this. So, um, I, for this question, I was kind of thinking back, like, what was my mindset? What was I thinking? Like, how did it happen when I had my first one? Because I know that it can be a taboo subject, especially when you're around that age of just getting your first one. It's scary. And I remember being scared. I was like, kind of in a weird way, excited because I was like, ooh, I mean, all, some of my friends are like getting theirs. And it was like the whispers. You're all talking to your friends like, did you get yours yet? Did you get yours yet? But I remember being scared, number one, and ashamed because, like, you would have to, like, sneak your tampons into the bathroom or your pads or whatever. So first thing I want to say is do not be ashamed of having one. You, everybody's going to be on their own timeline and your body is your body. And it's going to start when your body is ready for it to start. So first of all, don't be afraid or ashamed. It is natural. It is normal. And every woman, every girl is going to go through it. Um, so that's the first thing to keep in mind. Second thing, I was thinking back and like, I don't think I was educated enough at the time to know what like symptoms could be coming before it was about to start. Um, which I think is a downfall in the system of like education because now I know every month like it's gonna start this day because I was feeling this way like I have learned so much about myself and my body that I can know when it's coming so ladies um I don't know for sure because like I'm not a doctor this is just my personal advice this is just kind of my experience but thinking back like I didn't know when it was coming the first time because I had that lack of education. But some of the things that can happen, like you can get mood swings, you can have cramps, like there's all kinds of symptoms. So I would encourage you to like do some research of your own. I don't know how much they teach you now in schools about it, but do some research of your own to kind of learn those symptoms and learn more about your body. It's so, so important to learn about yourself and I genuinely this is something I'm like pretty passionate about I don't think that they teach girls enough when they're younger so I uh, thank you for asking that question I know we don't normally get on to that that like level of topic but I really hope that helps and if you guys have any other questions like that I would love to keep giving like you know big sis advice and I have my podcast too that we can kind of dive more into topics like these and I can talk more in depth on these more like kind of mature conversations versus where this channel is a lot of entertainment because I like, you know, making you guys laugh, making you guys smile. But there's also those more serious things in life you got to talk about. So thank you again to Marie Love for asking that question. I see we got some more questions in the chat that I'm going to jump to next. Um, let's see. So we're going to go with Lily. 
R Lily, I don't know how to pronounce your middle name, but Lily Rath. Lily asked, how many siblings do I have? I have, ooh, that's an interesting emoji. Wow, ATA. Um, but anyways, I have two brothers. I have two younger brothers and I'm the only girl. I'm the oldest. And so I love part, that's another reason I love doing this like big sis advice Q&A because I always wanted a sister. Like I would call, I would call, I would always tell my mom like, you have to have another kid because I want a younger sister. So I love that I can share these things with you guys and help you guys. I know that like this is, we obviously have guys in here too, but predominantly, um, I know my metrics say like predominantly girls watch. So thank you guys for being here and uh, giving me the opportunity to like share. I'm always happy to help you guys out. Um, but yeah, two younger brothers. One is, they're actually both almost 21. One just turned 22 which is crazy and makes me feel old. <laughs> um, but yeah. Okay, good question. I lost your name. Uh, Lily, good question, Lily. Now I see some other good, um, I see some other good questions in the chat, but I have to jump to this next one because it is from Patreon. So Patreon is an opportunity for you guys to support the channel. It's linked in the, it should be linked in the description of this video. I'll double check after this live, but it should be linked in the description of this video if you wanna join on Patreon. Those questions are like 100% gonna be answered on these lives. So, and then the ones in the community post, I pick from however many we get. So our Patreon question, first of all, wait, where did it go? Oh, yeah. First of all, shout out to Jake Ramirez because he is a huge supporter of this channel. So thank you, Jake. He asked a question on Patreon, which is where the questions are able to be like 100% answered. Um, and he asked, like, when do you step in if someone you care about, like you're kind of noticing they need help or you think that maybe they're going down the wrong path um, without being overbearing and intrusive? So like maybe your friend is doing something and you're like, eh, are you hanging out with the right people? Like... Am I being nosy by stepping in? Kind of like, where do you draw the line there? Um, so some of you guys on here, you guys probably thought I just dropped off the face of the earth. Let me look at the chat. Um, I'm alive. I'm here. My phone just overheated. So I'm going to try to keep it in the shade now um, so that, that doesn't happen again. But anyways, where were we? We were answering, <clears throat> we were answering Jake's question from Patreon about when do you step in um, for someone you care about, someone in your life, whether it's family, a friend, when you think maybe they're going down the wrong path or maybe they're hanging out with the right people. Yes, thank you guys, I'm so glad I made it back. I didn't think I was gonna be able to resume it, but we're good, we're back and we're in action. Um, so how do you know when to draw the line and when do you step in without being overbearing and intrusive? That question was from Jake. So, what I would say, and what I was saying right before I got cut off, is I think it really depends on um, how you approach them and how involved you are in giving that advice. Like, Because if someone doesn't want to hear advice, they're not going to take your advice. If someone is ready and open and willing to hear advice, they will take it probably they are more likely to take your advice and to listen to you so I think that you almost kind of have to approach it in the way of feeling out whether they are or are not open to hearing advice from you and to if you're afraid of being overbearing or being intrusive or being you know like overstepping then you probably need to approach it softly and gently and not in a way where it's like oh my god like <clears throat> you're doing everything wrong you shouldn't be doing this why are you doing this it needs to be more like hey I care about you um and this is very broad like we could be applying this to so many different things but it's like hey I care about you and here's some things that I think maybe could help you give resources but you don't want to like force advice on anyone so number one just make sure they're like open to receiving it and number two lead with like how you care like coming from the heart and like why you're bringing it up um but good question jake that one was that was deep 
Um, and we have a circle back to gymnastics lover said, just got my first period. How do I deal with cramps? Girl, cramps are the worst. Uh, they suck. I'm not going to lie. Not going to lie. The way I deal with them is I take some ibuprofen. I maybe get like a, a heating pad and put it on my stomach or something to just kind of like ease the pain. But aside from that, you really just kind of got to give yourself the time. It's like if you're sick, like when you're sick, you're going to like lay in bed for a little bit or take the day off. I know that's not always possible because we just kind of have to like live with it. But um, if you can, like give yourself time to like be sick, just like take a rest and let it pass. There's no unfortunately way to just like make them go away. They really do suck. And I know some people's are worse than others. Um, but yeah, uh, that's like good of you too to like be able to talk about that already. I remember I was so shy about it when I first had mine. So you're doing great. Um, and Mystery Time really wants to know Dunkin' or Starbucks. So I float back and forth on this one. If you guys watch my lives, like sometimes I say Dunkin', sometimes I say Starbucks. Right now, I would say Starbucks. Just because I really love the chai, dirty chai. I love how we're, we're jumping back and forth between like these deep questions and like Starbucks or Dunkin'. Um, but yeah, okay. There were some good questions in the chat before my phone overheated, so... If you had some questions, drop them again. And in the meantime, dogs or cats? Dogs, I'm a dog person. I love cats too, I've just never had my own cat, so I've never developed that like deep emotional connection with a cat. <laughs> um, okay, so the last question that we had submitted ahead of time, Amir, you're in the car too, yes. I was really nervous that this wouldn't work and that like I wouldn't have service. Um, but anyways, by the way, once I finish these questions, I'm going to, um, I have an, a little bit of an announcement, which you guys, I feel like should probably, you want to be the first to know about because, uh, yeah. So I have an announcement at the end of the questions, but anyways, the last question was from Charlotte Brown, three, two, two, zero. And, oh wait, just kidding. No, that was the wrong one. Sigmund, Sig. Sigmoid Conman is the last question. I said, how would you pull off a long distance relationship? I'm going to answer a few more questions in the chat after I do this one, by the way. So shout out to Sigmoid Conman for asking the question, how did I pull off a long distance relationship? First of all, yes, Amir, we're car pals. <laughs> um, it is not easy to do a long distance relationship. I will just throw that out there and it needs to be a personal choice like if you're going into one if you're deciding to do a long distance relationship you got to know what you're getting yourself into because it, it it's not easy never know like you gotta be the way you get through it if you decide number one that you want to be in one that you want to take on that challenge um you gotta address problems you gotta have difficult conversations early on you got to just address those conversations. Things will in certain ways move faster. Like for me, it was weird because we were texting and like calling and it was like emotionally we're moving like, you know, emotionally we've been together for three months, but in reality we've seen each other three times. So that was kind of a weird thing at first. It's obviously not there anymore, but like for me at first it was just, because we started distance, I think it was a little different, but um, I did have a long, like a relationship in the past where we were like in the same place and then we were distance. So that's a totally different ball game. If you're with someone before you had the distance, um, I would say totally different ball game and you guys kind of have to prepare for it. So like if you know you're gonna be long distance, you kind of want to be like, hey, let's have a conversation. How are we gonna regularly talk? How are we going to know like when each other's feeling off? Like how are we gonna stay connected and let each other know that everything's okay and, and that we still love each other? So it really all boils down to really good, 
communication, whether it's you knew each other beforehand or you're going into it starting at distance, um, which can be scary. So yes, great question from Sigmoid Conman. Shout out to you again and thank you for asking that question ahead of time. Um, let's see, let's find, I'm going to find some questions in the chat before we get to the announcement and then wrap things up. Um, Finley Ryan. Okay. That's a good one, Finley. So shout out to Finley Ryan for asking. They asked, what do I do when my friends are super mean to me and I don't know why? Um, it sounds like maybe they're not the best friends if they're super mean to you. Uh, I've had friends in the past that were kind of mean and you don't deserve that. Um, but I guess if you feel like maybe there's something you did, you can kind of have that conversation with them and be like, look, I'm feeling hurt. Like what you're doing and saying is hurting me. So like, is there anything I did to cause that or like whatever? And if they don't want to talk about it and if they continue to be mean to you, I would say you maybe need to find, I know it's not easy, but like you might need to find different friends if they're just going to bring you down all the time. Cause you want your friends to make you feel good. You want your friends, you know, you want to be able to trust your friends and go to them with advice. You don't want to feel like they're always just dragging you down. Um, so yeah, I think I would have that difficult conversation with them. And if they continue to be mean, then maybe they're not your people. Okay, we're getting some more great questions. Um, okay, let's go to Kylie Eaton. Kylie asked, so I started talking to this guy, but he's taking it way too fast. And I don't really want to be in a relationship. How do I tell him I just want to be friends? So first of all, good for you for knowing that. I think a lot of times, I mean, I've personally had situations where I was like too afraid to say like, this is going too fast. So good for you for knowing that Kylie. Um, it's in terms of, you know, how do I tell him you just wanna be friends? I think it's just that you just got to do it. You got to rip the bandaid off because you have that first thing handled. Like, you know what the problem is, you know what you want. So now it's just a matter of like kindly ripping off the bandaid and bandaid, having that conversation and saying, Hey, look, nothing personal. This is just where I'm at. This is just what I want right now. And I just think it would be better if we be friends or take a break. I don't know. It depends how long you guys have been together, how you want to say it, but <clears throat> Yeah, I think that's just a ripping the band-aid off type thing. So good, good question, Kylie. I hope that I hope that you get that handled okay. Good luck. <laughs> um, okay, we'll do two more. Two more. Okay, Summer. Summer asked, how can I be confident in my own body? Great question. Um, we do, everybody deserves to feel confident in their own body. So if you're feeling a lack of confidence in yourself, figure out why, like what are the things that you're not confident about? You can write them down. You can just kind of make a mental note and then love yourself anyways. Love yourself anyways. Just because you're feeling that way doesn't mean you can't change that in your head. The way you talk to yourself is huge. It's huge. If you tell yourself daily, like, I don't like how I look. I don't look like how I feel. If you're looking in the mirror and saying like, I don't look good today. Ugh, what is my hair? That matters. Even if you don't say it out loud, the thoughts in your head are gonna determine your reality. So be nice to yourself and know it's easier said than done. And I do it too. Like I literally will beat myself up. Be like, oh, I look terrible today. And I'll have those thoughts going through my head. But at the end of the day, if you're able to get those under control and like love yourself regardless, look at yourself and think of like someone, think of a friend you, that you would never say something mean to and start to think of yourself that way. Like if you would never go up to your friend and be like, oh my God, you look terrible today. 
So why would you say that to yourself? Think of yourself as your own friend and be the be so nice to yourself. Be so nice. Yeah, don't sweat the small things. Yeah, I love that. I hope that helped. I really hope that helped. Um, but thank you for being vulnerable and asking that question too. I really hope that helped um, trying to be nice. And we're doing that together, by the way, because I tend to be a perfectionist and like I pick myself apart all the time. So we're working on that one together. Um, okay, we're gonna do one more question. Let's see. I wanna try to do someone whose question, my hand is shaking, what the heck? I'm like in the most uncomfortable s s spot situation, not situation, the way I was sitting, my hand. Okay, I'm gonna try to pick somebody whose I haven't answered yet. So Izzy, Izzy, let's do Izzy. So Izzy said, what do I do when my friends ditch me for another friend when they used to be my bestie? Okay, so let's break that one down. What do I do? So sh first off, shout out to Izzy Padion, I hope I pronounced that right, for asking that question. This is gonna be, I think our last question and then I have an announcement. Um, so what do I do when my friends ditch me for another friend when they used to be my bestie? okay so that's you're feeling you're feeling ditched that's the first thing which you know is never a good feeling um but i would think about first of all do you do you think that they did it on purpose because it, it's very possible that they maybe didn't realize what they did and that could be like they might have done it intentionally i don't know the, the exact situation so that's something you want to keep in mind and consider like did they do it intentionally um, because they might not have realized what they did. Um, so, you could bring that up uh, if it's really bothering you. And, and if they're your bestie, like, I'm sure you guys are hanging out, you're having these conversations. Um, so, bring that up to them. Like, say, hey, I was feeling like, it felt like I got ditched. Um, did Is that what you meant to do? Like, do you, you know... Just bring up that it hurt you and that you were feeling that way and then see how that person receives that. If they're like, <laughs> if they're confused and they're like, oh my God, I'm so sorry, like I didn't mean to ditch you, then maybe, you know, that could just be a misunderstanding. But if this keeps happening and they're just like throwing you to the curb <laughs> and they're not hanging out with you and they're prioritizing other people over you, I would say maybe you want to start forming other relationships with other people, like friend relationships that make you feel not ditched, that make you feel important. Cause I know that's a sucky feeling. I have totally been in that situation many times before where you feel like, um, okay, cool. Like I didn't get invited to that party or like, okay, that sucks. I guess they didn't, you know, want to be my friend. Like what's wrong with me? What did I do wrong? And that's, it's a really sucky feeling. I actually, something recently happened where I kind of felt that way with a group of people, but um, you know, at the end of the day, you gotta find your people. So have that conversation and see how you're feeling. See how you're feeling after, and then maybe, you know, you gotta keep going with some other friends or maybe it was just a misunderstanding. So thanks Izzy for that question. Um, Oh, Izzy, they don't talk to you anymore? Yeah, I think if that's the case, you know, who knows what happened. If there's no way you can have that conversation, like, you know, you got to do what's best for you. Uh, if they're just, like, not talking to you anymore, they could be jealous. Like, you could have something they want. You know, it could just be nothing. It's nothing to do with you in that situation. If they don't want to be mature and talk about it, then, like... That's not something you can control. I know it sucks, but that's not something that you can control. So if they're gonna, you know, treat you that way, you deserve better. Yeah, Izzy, I think it sounds like you maybe deserve better if that's the case. Um, okay, let's see. We have a lot of really good questions about friends. Um, I have actually, I have to head out because I'm meeting up with my parents in like 10 minutes, but we do these uh, uh, Q&As once a month. 
and I also have a podcast. So the podcast is where we can talk more about this friendship stuff like weekly. I post a podcast every other week, sometimes weekly. It's called The Passion Project with Hallie Smith. It should be linked in the description of this video. If not, I will make sure. But we have these friendship conversations weekly and I can go deeper on some of these things you guys are asking in weekly podcast episodes. Um, I'm gonna tell you guys the news, yes. So, so check out the podcast if you wanna do these more, but I also will be doing these Q and A's monthly on this main channel and you guys can ask your questions ahead of time. So be ready. Now, what I was going to tell you guys, because I know you guys are hanging on to that. So I know you guys are super, always super excited about merch. Now I had merch for like a year and I decided it was time for a refresh. So I wiped out the store. All that merch is gone. And I am going, I am working on new merch that you guys are gonna help me design because it's gonna be for you. I don't know exact, I have like the vibe set and I actually, so here's the thing, I have a monthly newsletter. Save the link to this live stream because after this live, all of these links are going to be in the description of this video, okay? Um, I will do that immediately after that and make sure all these links are in the description of this video. So join the monthly newsletter. Again, it's going to say podcast. It's going to say newsletter. It's going to say anything else I mentioned in this live is going to be in the description of this video. Maybe give it an hour, but I'm going to go in immediately after this and make sure you guys can access all of it. The newsletter is free. Um, and so by joining, you're going to know right away when I announce the merch and like I talk to you guys, we can have like closer conversations there because it's through email. Um, but I'm going to be working on that merch through your guys' feedback um, with the newsletter. So if anybody in here is in the monthly newsletter, by the way, already drop it in the chat because I know we have quite a few people in there. Yes, road to 700K. Thank you guys all for your support. Um, but yeah, that was the announcement that I am working on new merch. I know you guys always get super excited about that. So even if you like drop a comment on my video, like any video, any comment section, like I'm always monitoring the comments if you're like, hey, like merch idea or like this is the type of merch I want to see. Like, let me know. I'll be monitoring my comments very, very closely. So be ready this video save the link to this video the description if it doesn't already it should automatically be in there but if it's not i'm gonna double check right after this to make sure you guys can all get it no i'm not driving oh my god mystery time that would be dangerous um yeah i haven't looked at the road one time but somehow i'm <laughs> no don't drive and be on your phone um okay yes but thank you guys so much i loved this conversation this was really great um, and thank you all for being vulnerable and asking those questions. I really hope it helped. I hope you all have an amazing rest of your weekend and I will see you guys in the next live stream, the next video. Love you guys. Peace out.